All right, guys, so we're back today. And yes, my neighbor is mowing in the background. I feel like every time I go to make a video, there is some kind of distraction. Yes, I'm squinting my eyes because at the moment that I film this video, the sun is directly pointing on me, which is not a good thing, okay? It's not. But we're going to get this video out there. I am so, so, so late on this video. School started for me last week, guys. <sighs> I got football. I'm tired, okay? But I'm making this one for you. I'm making this one for y'all. <laughs> so, we're gonna make a video on Team USA, as you probably could tell from the title and thumbnail. I say that just about every video. I say that just about every video, too. I don't say that just about every video, and I don't say that just about every video. Okay, let's not be repetitive. I don't say that either. All right, so let's get started talking about this team. Most of you know that they won gold. We all expected it. Watched the game. Should have made a video right after the game, but I couldn't because I had to go, or I had a party. And so, birthday party, and so I couldn't make that video. And then ever since then, I've been so busy, but now we're out here and we're gonna be making it for y'all. So we'll start off talking about the roster again. I'll rank, so I ranked, before the Olympics started, I ranked my top players on the team. We're gonna do it again, but now it's gonna be after the fact. I'm not sure if anybody changed, have no clue how I rank them last time. We're gonna rank them again and see how it is. Um, I might even go back and look at how I ranked them before. Probably not. I might though. Sorry, I'm squinting my eyes. I, I know I look like, mm. But I'm going to try to keep them as open as I can. You know what I'm saying? Pick your stupid chair up. Come on, there's a well, Never mind. There's a reef above me. Oh, crap. Okay. Never mind. Let's go pick the stupid chair up. Put it up there. We're not doing that today, though. But we're not done yet. So let's go ahead and talk about the roster. Uh, first up, you have Anthony Edwards, point guard. Bam Adebayo, um, big. Anthony Davis, big. Joel Embiid, big. Kevin Durant, wing slash big. Um, Jason Tatum, wing. Um, Derek White, guard. Drew Holiday, guard. Devin Booker, guard. LeBron James, wing. Uh, st uh, wing slash big. Steph Curry, guard. And Tyrese Halliburton, guard. So, with this team right here, okay? So, with this team... They are very dominant, okay? This team is not put together had it that, uh, I can't remember what, maybe 08 team with Devin Booker, LeBron James, Chris Paul. Uh, I can't remember who else was on that team. I'm pretty sure it was Chris Paul, yep. Uh, but anyways, it wasn't put together like that. Or maybe it was 012 or 12. I think it was 08 because 12 came after. So I think we're going to go with 08. That team was constructed great. This team is just the best players that are playing basketball and for that are USA basketball players right now. Like, did not construct it how it needed to be, like, perfectly. It's just the best players chasing gold, if you know what I'm saying. And I was kind of shocked. I had – this was my first ever Olympics watching. I'm going to be 100% with you. First ever time watching the Olympics. Yes, I know. What, what have I been missing out on in life? This is my first ever time watching the Olympics. Never watched the FIBA World Cup. Uh, never watched none of that. This is my first time watching Olympic basketball. So, um, it, it kind of shocked me that I found out that Steph Curry had never been on an Olympic team when I found that out. And that was very interesting. He, uh, he will never end up being on another Olympic team because of how old he is. He is 37 right now, so he'll be 41 whenever another Olympics happens. And so more than likely he's done. LeBron James is done. Kevin Durant's done. Um, so that's – that's it's their time. LeBron, I think this is like his third time winning gold. Kevin Durant, fourth. He is the most all-time – he is the highest scorer in Olympic basketball history. Um, he has the most gold medals. Um, I'm not sure about rebounds, assists, all that crap. I think that actually is LeBron, um, but I'm not sure about that neither. Um, okay, so 
Let's get to talking. We'll rank these players real quick, and we'll talk about who won MVP and that stuff who I thought deserved it. So, um, the players on this team, we're going to rank them. Already said that. Okay. So, the, we're going to rank them, though, the way that they played the last two games. So, I think we're going to go with LeBron James, Steph Curry, Joel Embiid, Kevin Durant, Anthony Edwards, Devin Booker, Anthony Davis, Jason Tatum, Bam Adebayo, Drew Holiday, Derek White, Tyrese Halliburton. That is how that, in my opinion, that is the best players that play. You know what I'm saying? That's how they played the best. I think it goes LeBron, Steph, Joel, KD. Okay, because KD would have been the best if Steph and Joel didn't turn on them last two games. And let me just tell you, they sure did. It was crazy. It was crazy how good that they played those last two games. And I was I was really shocked. I watched that game with Steph. He did not do great first half. Second half, Steph was a different man. When they needed Steph, he was hitting threes like he does in the NBA. And that is why I'm a Golden State Warriors fan. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. So, let's talk about who I thought deserved MVP. So, LeBron won MVP. Okay. If LeBron, LeBron probably deserved it in most people's eyes. But who played the best when it mattered? You know what I'm saying? Like, who was the best player on that team when it mattered? Other people are going to be like, well, LeBron was the best player on that team overall. And I get that. And I, I'm not saying that LeBron didn't deserve MVP. I think LeBron deserved MVP. But some people also got to look at it as, I wish we had like a most valuable player in, in crucial minutes or clutch player. Yeah, like clutch player of the year, like Steph won this past year. Okay? Because if you think about it, LeBron was great. Okay, LeBron hit game winners that we had to have, okay, to to make it to this point. But Steph, when it mattered against Serbia, who we should have been kicking the crap out of, and France, who we also should have been kicking the crap out of, when they went on runs and caught up with us, Steph was the one who hit the shots that he needed to hit, you know what I'm saying? And so that is why that Steph should be contending up there with LeBron. KD should also be because KD played great when he was healthy. Okay, K KD was balling. Let me just tell you, and that's one of the reasons why we won the gold. I And now let's talk about Joel Embiid because everybody was hating on Joel, like Team USA don't need him. Anthony Davis should be starting. Well, those last two games, him and Steph went crazy. Joel was doing everything he had to do. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, like, them two deserve, like, most improved player of the Olympics and clutch player. Like, Joel is most improved. And Steph is clutch player of the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? If they, if they actually handed that out, that's what they deserve. LeBron deserved MVP. Because of all that he did through the tournament. He was consistent. If Steph was as consistent as he was those last two games, Steph would have won it. Okay? But he wasn't consistent, so LeBron won it. And I'm not mad about that, okay, at all. I'm glad that Team USA won gold. I should be wearing my Team USA shirt, but I already wore it the other day. So, uh, yeah. But <laughs> I think it was kind of funny what Tyrese Halberton tweeted. He said, uh, what was it? Oh, that one kid that doesn't work on in the group assignment that doesn't work at all at something like that but still gets an A. <laughs> That's what he did, and he had a picture with his gold. It's, it's pretty funny. Everybody's talking about that. Because he he didn't. He sat on the bench. Jason Tatum, <sighs> it's very controversial. Okay. You could say that there was a reason Jason Tatum didn't play. I don't think that Jason Tatum should have played when he went in. He played like crap. 
in my opinion. Some people, I've talked to different people, you know what I'm saying? And he didn't really play much, okay? He shot two shots, was 50%. That's what somebody told me. So, like, what better you want him to do? Okay. But when Bam went in, in the gold medal game, we went on a big run. And he came in for Jason Tatum, we went on a big run. And so that's why that I think that Jason Tatum wasn't needed on this team. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I don't like the Celtics, but it is not because I'm a Hatix. Celtics hater because I said that. That's not why. I just don't think that he was needed. Neither was Tyrese Halbert. Okay? I think you should, you could throw somebody like Cooper Flagg on there who can sit on the bench and get experience. You know what I'm saying? Which, it is good. It is good. So, there's a reason they didn't throw him on there because it is good that those guys go and win gold for their country. That is one achievement that they have made. So, Jason Tatum has won the NBA Finals this year, and now he's won gold. Like, that is awesome. You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't needed on that team. This isn't the NBA where you can say that somebody comes in and gets experience. That's because that's the point of view that I'm looking at. It's not like that. So I'm not hating on Jason Tatum. He just really wasn't needed on this team. Okay. Some of this stuff might not make sense to you guys, what I'm saying. Some of it don't even make sense to me. But Jason Tatum and Tyrese Halberton really wasn't needed. They were just on the team to do that. Well, Jason Tatum was on the team to play, but he didn't play good. Uh, Drew Holiday was there to defend. Uh, he was all right. Derek White was just a role player that they needed. That's why they got him, because they have so many stars. you got to have a role player in there. Bam and AD were there for defense and rebounding. Ant was there for his mentality. Um, and I think Devin Booker, well, everybody knows what D-Book was there for. D-Book can do anything. You know what I'm saying? He can defend. He can shoot the ball. He can pass the ball. He's not the best passer. He's not the best point guard. But he, he ran the point for us. Him and Brock did. And that's one of the reasons that Steph did so bad because Steph's not used to being the facilitator. And when you're on a team with a bunch of stars, you got to facilitate the ball a lot. And Steph couldn't find ways of shooting that. So once D-Book and Braun started facilitating the ball a lot, Steph – found shots, and I'm not saying that they weren't facilitating the ball. Steph got his rhythm when he should have. That's all I'm going to say about that. And Steph just, he isn't meant to be a real um, old-time point guard like Chris Paul is. Um, like, who else is like that? Uh, I don't know many other people like that anymore. Chris Paul is like the last assist point guard. Well, Tyus Jones. Who is on? Who is now on the Suns is like that. That's why I made a video on that and said that the Suns w could be pretty good this year now that they have a facilitator to pass in the ball. And so, yeah. But that is my opinion on this Team USA roster. Um, you guys don't have to agree. I hope you agree. You might not agree. If you don't agree, tell me exactly how you feel in the comments. Because I like to read that crap, guys. I really do. And I pay attention, like, I'm watching everything that I can to figure out better opinions to give you guys in these videos. And I haven't really heard many opinions on Team USA. So if you have one yourself, feel free to tell me in the comments because I will read it. And you never know, if I like it, you might get a shout out next video. But shout out to Caden Sinners.